everybody. I thought I would make a video showing you the color cards that I developed because maybe it would be more useful to see them sort of live or in real time or in the video version of real time instead of just seeing photos of them. If I were going to self drape, if I were going to drape at home, the first thing to determine my color season, the first thing I would do is I would pull up my hair. So I'm going to get my hair out of my face. The reason you want to do this is your hair is a big block of color next to your face. And when you're thinking about the effect of the color card colors on your hair, the any impression you get is going to be influenced by the effect of the color of your, did I say it on your hair? I meant to say it on your skin. This is going to be the most awkward video. All right. I'm just, I'm radically accepting that I make awkward videos. I'm sorry. Um, your hair would interfere with that. So if I'm doing this at home, I would actually like cover my hair with a neutral colored anything like a kerchief. For now, I'm just gonna pull it up to approximate what I would do if I were doing it myself for real. I know my own color season, I'm a soft autumn, so those colors are warm and gentle and muted. Uh, but I'm gonna show you what the soft autumn card looks like and show you what the other cards look like too and give you some idea of how the different cards look next to my skin. I should say also, I'm not wearing any makeup and I recommend you not wear any makeup when you do this. Not even foundation, even though you may feel like foundation makes your skin look more even. There are a couple of main reasons you don't wanna wear it when you're trying to figure out your color season at home. One is there's no guarantee that the foundation you're wearing right now is the one that would make your skin look the most beautiful. I'm not trying to plant like seeds of doubt because we're already, you know, so worried about is our makeup the right makeup for us. But I'm just saying, you know, sometimes we choose the wrong, wrong foundation and then a year later we think, oh my gosh, I can't believe I wore that foundation for a year. Okay. But also, um, these natural sort of imperfections that we have going on on our face, like the bags under our eyes and like the redness around the eyes and stuff like that, your best colors are going to make those look a little less noticeable and your worst colors are going to exaggerate them. So... So here's my soft autumn card. These cards I've had, and you're gonna see they're a little bent and also some of them have writing on them because this is the, the proof set that finally turned out to be exactly the colors I want. So I wrote all good, like all four of them turned out and went through a lot of rounds before I got exactly the right color for all 12 seasons. But yours won't have writing. They'll just say truth is beauty across the top and then the color name in the bottom. So here's my soft autumn color. If I'm at home, like if I'm you, I want to tilt it in such a way where the protective coat isn't um, reflecting light and take a photo of myself so I can look at the photo later. It's a little difficult to judge yourself in real time in the mirror. And I thought about it a lot and I'm honestly not sure why that's the case. I just know that we get a lot more accurate picture of ourselves from photos than we do from simply looking in a mirror or in a webcam. But if, I, if I'm at home, I'm going to cover my hair. I'm going to hold this up under my chin and take a photo of myself. Or I could also take a photo of myself with the card like next to my face like this. What I hope you will see, what I see when I look at this, is that this green, red, yellow, and blue, let me tell you, there you go, are not brighter or darker than my face. They're not brighter or darker than the colors happening here. They're pretty much exactly... I'm not saying, you know, I really want to say lighter or darker because brightness is about saturation. So they're not lighter than what's going on here and they're not darker than what's going on here. Like the darkest thing happening in my natural coloring is not darker than any of these colors. And additionally, they're not more or less saturated than what's going on in my skin. They're pretty much exactly as saturated. This green, when it's next to my eyes, actually is kind of a dead ringer to my eye for my eye color. Uh, and you'll often notice if you have blue or green eyes that the blue or green in your season will make that eye color jump out. If you have brown eyes, the bright colors for you will often bring out colors in your eyes that you didn't previously see like tones and occasionally just make your eyes look sharper or more clear. So other things to think about are you could imagine this red is a lippy for me. This wouldn't be like, it's a really believable lippy color, right? It wouldn't jump out of my face. It wouldn't look too dark. It would just look a, like my lip, but better, which is what most of us are going for most of the time. 
Let's look at a season that I really wish was mine, but it's just not. Bright winter. Here's the bright winter card. I hope you see right away, like I see, as soon as I bring it into the frame, what I see is like everything here is so much more vivid than anything I have going on. Like this pink, can you imagine this pink is a lippy for me? That would be crazy. I mean, it's a state, it's a look. Some people want that look. Some people want a lippy that says, wow, look at my lipstick. But that's an aesthetic. It's just, it's not the aesthetic of people who are looking for their color season, right? It's not harmonious. So like this would not be a harmonious lip for me. And this yellow, can you imagine me wearing this yellow as a top? It's so much brighter and cooler than anything I have happening here. Uh, light summer, also too cool for me and much too light for me. Look how faded and like, bleh, these colors look like next to my face. Everything I have happening here looks darker than what's happening on this card, almost to the point of being kind of like muddy, right? Um, if you're a light summer woman, this is not going to look bleh next to you. This is going to look like as vivid as you are. It's going to look, the colors are going to look distinct next to your skin. The blue is going to look really blue. The green's going to look really green. The pink and the yellow are going to look really pink and yellow. And this pink would be imaginable for you as a lippy or as a blush. I mean, on me, it's just, I hope you can see the colors that I have going on in my body are so much warmer than this and like darker and more muted. What else? Not good for me. Let's look at two that are kind of similar. So soft autumn and dark autumn. Here's my soft autumn card. Here's my dark autumn card. It says all good. I hope you can see when I bring the dark autumn card into the frame that again, it's more vivid than I am. My eyes next to this green, for example, to me, my eyes kind of jump out. Whereas next to this green, I feel like my eyes are less significant because the green is so much more powerful than they are. If you imagine this red, this is a look, this would be a statement red, but it's not in the aesthetic of color harmony. We're not looking for lips that make a statement. We're looking for lips that harmonize with everything else we have going on. Even if you're, and I'll talk about style type for a minute, even if your style type is dramatic or gamine. So for example, if if I have dramatic or gamine in my style type and I'm looking to make a makeup look where my lip like is really noticeable or jumps out or maybe romantic, I'm still just gonna use the deepest or most unusual red in my palette. So uh, there's a color by Tarte called Bling. I talk about it on my blog and post from a couple years ago that on a piece of paper it just looks kind of like a brownish red and on me is like pow because it's a deep red in the soft autumn palette. And if I wanted to create like a gamine lip, that would be a color that I would choose. I wouldn't create a gamine lip because I don't have any gamine, but okay. So here's my soft autumn card. Here's my dark autumn card. I'm gonna angle them a little bit so you can see the color without the glare of the light. This is harmonious with the colors that exist in my skin. And this is a little brighter, it's a little, more vivid and a little darker. I don't have the darkest dark autumn colors on here, but if I did, you would see they were too dark for me. Dark autumns can take black also. I can't wear black, not harmoniously anyway. Let's see. Uh, I also have, I'll just show you what the other cards look like. Here's soft summer next to soft autumn. You might think at first that they're a little bit similar, but especially in person, you can see that Soft Summer is noticeably cool. It's like if you took Soft Autumn and made it cool. And it's just a little too cool for my skin. But on a Soft Autumn woman, like this kind of pinky movie lip would be great. Here are True Winter, much too bright for me. Great on a True Winter woman. Light Spring. 
Oh, I love these colors. I wish these were my colors. They're so beautiful. You know what? I'm, I'm happy. I'm content with my soft autumn palette. I just get jealous a little bit sometimes. All right. So here are these beautiful light spring colors that my coloring is just too subtle for and also like too dark for. Here's bright spring, another palette that I sometimes have palette envy of. And true autumn, a little more vivid than I am. True spring and what's that dark winter? Ooh, dark winter, so beautiful. On a dark winter woman, these wouldn't look striking or uh, theatrical. They would just look appropriate. And then here are these beautiful true spring colors. Not ideal for me. Look at that yellow next to my skin. The yellow is so much more vivid than I am. But okay, so here are the 12 colors with my handwriting on them because they were my proof set, my final proof set after many, many rounds. And again, if you're going to do this at home, I would cover, pull your hair back and cover it, especially, and I didn't say this before, especially because a lot of us dye our hair and you don't want that big block of color coming into your judgment. And then I would cover down here. I'm wearing clothes for this, but if I were you, I would either just like take my shirt off or put on a neutral colored top, like a gray top if you have them would be ideal. And take photos of yourself with the colors. Take photos of yourself with the colors one at a time, or you could do like pairs of colors. So for example, when I put this and this up next to my face without even looking, I just picked these two randomly. Without even looking at the season, I can already see this is a, sorry, this one is a little better than this one. And that makes sense because this is soft summer and this is true winter. This is closer to me. So you could do them in pairs and sort of narrow it down that way. And then slowly, slowly uh, keep zooming in until you get to your right season. Anyway, okay, so I hope this was a useful introduction to these color cards and I'll put a link to where you can buy them. You can order them a card at a time, or you can order like all the springs or all the autumns, or you can order all 12. Um, and that's it. I hope they're useful to you and I hope they help you find your color season.